Hey everybody, welcome back to SPX 2023. My name is Joe. I'm Rusty. And with us today is... Most Epic, aka Mike Watson. Welcome, Mike. How are you guys doing? Doing, doing well. well. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Doing How's nice. SPX treating you? SPX treating me pretty good my first time. It's easy to be in there real nice. That's good. Yeah. They should be, and if not, you tell us. Yeah. I will. Yeah, I'll yeah. we'll, we'll take care of it. We'll shake them down, don't worry. <laughs> so, you have a comic. I actually have several comics. Really? Yeah, we're, uh, Freestyle Comics is a publishing company, so we have about 12 different titles with over 30 books that we've published in the wow. last few years. Wow. I've uh, been doing it since uh, about 2004 professionally, but our flagship title is Hot Shot. It's about a young man in college trying to prove to his ex-girlfriend that he never cheated on her without revealing he's a superhero, but not get kicked out of college because he's never there because he's a superhero. Mm. We have uh, 12 issues of that out right now, and those are all available right now at Small Press Expo and online and our TikTok shop. Now, nice. where can they find that? Why don't we just get that out of the way? Oh, okay. Well, yep. you can find all of our books and our merch at fsknow.com. Um, follow our Kickstarters at fskgo.com. And my TikTok shop is Most Epic Art or Comic Shop with a K. No, I have to say, you have that okay. down pat. Yeah. You're just bullet <laughs> pointing. It. This it's is like, how you boom, find boom, it. Boom. Just it's like it's like you've done this for I don't know since 2004. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 a little bit. Got to make sure you give it straight to them and they know where it's at, and not waste any time with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what, do you have anything new that you're like debuting here, or has recently come out? I don't have anything new that we're debuting. We have a lot of books that we brought out. Um, probably one of our our, our newest books is uh, The Light Within, which is a one shot. It's about a teenager in juvenile detention, and he has to go through a program, an arts program to uh, channel his creativity so he does not go to adult jail. And he sees it through a, a kid's eye. So there's all these ma this magical power with his creativity, but then there's this darkness inside him that he has to abate to you know keep from going to jail. Wow. That's fascinating. That's a pretty heavy tale. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually with a group in Columbus, Ohio that uh, works with children in detention centers to help them not go to jail and oh, find a different path. So we work with them on that store. That's amazing. Nice. Nice. How did you get connected with them? Uh, somebody I knew through college, and they know that I make comic books, and came. they needed somebody to make comic books, so I put together the team for them, and we assembled this book. It was a really cool project. It's pretty amazing when you can make something that works in concert with another program. Like, we talked to somebody last year who made comics with the Smithsonian that kind of highlighted some of their exhibits. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this is obviously different, but it's similar in that you're working with a pre-existing pre program like that real, has a very specific yeah. goal. Yeah. And obviously a very important goal. Absolutely. And you're trying to work that into a story, but make it feel natural. Yes, that's exactly what we did. Um, it was super fun. The team was great. Um, we had Danny J. Quick from uh, Fourth Wall Productions. He wrote it. Um, then we had Fish Lee, a fantastic artist. He did the pencils on it. Lori Foster from Unlikely Hero Studios did the inks. Um, and then we had Veronica Smith from Freestyle Comics. She did the colors on it. Danny Cooper, also from FSK, um, did the lettering and editorial work. I just oversee all the creative team, make sure they hit their deadlines and stuff like that, and to put the team together. The way you're rounding them off these names and I credits. I'm so impressed. I'm like, so impressed. <laughs> yeah, like on point. Because it's one thing to have your own stuff on lock, but you're like, not only me, I got this group of people, and I can tell you what they've been up like, to for the last decade. Like, like from, from the organization, what they're working on, I was like, I'm impressed. That's, that's I mean, awesome. goodness gracious. Um, yeah, so, so um, it's, it's a combination of like you working on the books and then also bringing in like the creative teams. Um, yes, um, so I do, I do some drawing and I do some writing myself on my own books for FSK. Um, but then I also manage the titles. Uh, but Danny Cooper, he is the editor-in-chief, so he oversees all the stuff. He's also my editor for my book. And, um, you know, we have Tony Clapper, who is the writer and creator of Five Star. We were pretty lucky with getting him because he wanted to bring his character to our universe. Oh, nice. He already released uh, two issues of his book, but he wasn't happy with how some of the work was. So he wanted to re-release it under us, but incorporate it into our comic universe. So that was a lot of video chat and text messaging between me, him, and Danny yeah. to like explain the rules to the FSK verse yeah. and figure out how his character can mingle in with it. But once we did that, his character flows very well yeah. um, with our comics. And then uh, we also have uh, Charlie McElvey, who we're very lucky to have. Um, we co-publish his book, so he does his book under his own label. But I really love Charlie and the work that he does, so he allows us to co-publish yeah. Spider Squirrel under our label, nice. which also gives us the right to uh, share him in crossovers and things like that, and oh, vice nice. versa. Um, Alyssa, Alyssa Sanchez, she's a new creative. 
Um, we shared her uh, new character, actually premiered in Vigilance number um, four. And then she got her own solo spot in our anthology book called The Cypher. And now she's working on a full solo issue of that character. So I have a lot of people that I work with and probably would not you don't be say. where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, goodness gracious. Yes. It's I like the UN of comics makers. It's like everybody has a table. <laughs> now, now you mentioned Vigilance. And I have to yes. say, I couldn't believe it. Vigilance is actually here yes. at the show. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now, would you like to come in, Vigilance? You, you can step out behind yeah. the table here. <laughs> Now, can you tell us about Vigilance and how she's here with us? Well, Vigilance is the world's strongest superhero in our world. She works for the government full time with no secret identity, but she has amnesia. Uh, <coughs> Am amnesia. Yeah. I don't have amnesia. I you, just want to say that for the record. You okay. absolutely do, because this this thing right here, we do it every time. Come on. Oh. And that's the amnesia talking. I don't believe you. You know how how, how often that? do you get to say that's the amnesia talking? Just every time we pitch the book. Oh my goodness. Times, <laughs> yeah, apparently so. But uh, she's starting to realize that the government's lying to her about who she really is. And she has to go on this journey to discover where she came from and who she is underneath the cape. Now, what now? What made you try to get somebody to represent vigilance in our world? Uh, going to be honest, uh, people love attractive women in cosplay costumes. Oh, and we need attention on our books. Yes. So it's really just oh. the most obvious reason. It's the, it's the most obvious yeah. reason. And then um, the story with me meeting her is, is that uh, we were at a comic book convention and I saw her and she was just tall and walking so powerfully yeah. and she just fit the yeah. essence of the Vigilance character, but she was walking with her boyfriend. And what I thought to be her boyfriend at the time, see, I wanted them to have the surprise too. So I'm trying to sit here and figure out like, all right, how do I go up to her and yeah. talk to her without getting into altercation with the yeah, boyfriend? Yeah, you're not trying to be right. a creep. You're yeah. not trying to be a weirdo. No. Absolutely. You do have an unusual question to ask. Yeah. Absolutely. So this puts me it's in like, a It's like, don't take this the wrong way, but. That's exactly it. Yeah. So I'm watching him out the corner of my eye. I'm kind of baiting and waiting. And then I see him kind of go drift off. Oh, nice. And her fall back. I said, now's the time. Now's the yes. time, man. Move in. And so I ran, which probably was a mistake, <laughs> but. I ran up there and I was like, look, I'm not a creep. I'm not trying to get on with you. I just want to know if you can cosplay my character Vigilance because you look just like her and it'd be great. And then she said, what? <laughs> yeah, I would I understand like, that. That's a lot that, to take in. Hold on. That is an honest and good reaction in this case. It is. I'm sorry, what was that again? <laughs> right, so I repeated myself. And then at the time, who I'm thinking, her boyfriend comes yeah. up and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, um, now. But she knows now, so it's not a thing. Right. Yes. And then she's like, Dad, this dude wants me to cosplay a character. Oh, like, your boom. dad? No. Uh, I can see why you were like, let's be clear as soon as possible <laughs> yes. about who this gentleman was. Her dad looks so young, though. Yeah. And I've known her for over five years. He has not aged. <laughs> I mean, is it possible he is a superhero? It's possible that he's yeah. a vampire. A oh, oh, no. You just never know. But a daywalker, because he's cool people's though. Oh, that's okay, good. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you still don't want to turn your back. That's possible. Yeah. <laughs> like, be careful. <laughs> like, <laughs> even under the best of circumstances, they are struggling with a horrible addiction. They are. And they, they, are. they, they are. I mean, come on. No, yeah. I, I don't want to yeah. suck your blood, but, you know. Well, I mean, come on. We uh, both know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Now, Vigilance, how have you enjoyed being vigilant? Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> or have you enjoyed it? Has it been terrible? It's, no, it's actually been amazing. Yeah? You know, because I get to remember what I want to, and then I get to forget the rest. <laughs> I'm just, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But, no, it's been absolutely incredible. And meeting uh, Mike and knowing he is the father of three beautiful daughters, I remember when I first got sized up for this suit and everything, and I saw their reaction. It was totally priceless. Yeah. Oh my God. And so I've absolutely loved it ever since. And that's why I get to cosplay this character for five years because wow, I just really? love what I've been doing. So That is a long time. It's truly incredible. Have you, what, what's it been like to be like kind of like a, a part of the act, but not really part of like the main, like you're not part of the comic, but you're still part of the package. It's been absolutely incredible because a lot of people will come up to me and are like, it looks like you've walked off the pages. Yeah. And somehow it's weird because it's like the two worlds have kind of melted into one yeah. because she works for the government. I actually majored in criminology and I've actually oh, done yeah, things yeah. like that. So it's it's kind of funny when little things like that collide. Sure. Because mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, what are the odds? I always wanted to be a cosplayer, but I didn't know how to make the outfit. Yeah. And then this person that I just met runs up to me and is like, you're the perfect height for my character. <laughs> now, how did you get the outfit? Oh, um, Marcy, uh, a friend of mine who I went to college with. She is a great and valued friend of Freestyle Comics. She always helps us out of shows, but she is our head cosplayer. 
player. She dresses up as our character Ironsmith, but she also, I commission her when we need different costumes for shows and stuff. Wow, that's amazing. It's a really good costume. Yes, yeah. Marcy's incredible. It's, incredible. Yeah. it's built for tough. Shout out to Marcy because this thing does not <laughs> give up. I promise you. <laughs> but I would also like to add, she is a part of the team. Um, she comes out to the show. She helps sell books. She is also feeding on one of our podcasts called The Feed. So she gives weekly updates about freestyle comics every week. And she is a, a very up and rising YouTube person herself. I mean, creating her channel and bringing out great cosplay, great blog information and things like that. I mean, I don't want to say too much. She's incredibly charismatic and bubbly. Yes. And it's like, you're so, you feel so fortunate to have, like, have somebody like that on your team. <laughs> It's like, goodness gracious. Absolutely. I can see why you were like, I got to make this happen. I will, I'm going to run. Really, Whether do. it's a good idea or not, I'm running. I'm you running. that moment, like, yes. It was the funniest thing to just be walking, minding your own business, and hear, do, 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 do. Yeah. What? <laughs> you know? Because yeah. he said it in one whole breath. It was right. literally that. Like, he, he couldn't he take a out. chance that it <laughs> stops at a point, and you're like, no. Right. I had to get it out. I didn't want her to think I was hitting on her yeah. or anything like that. I had to get it out before the dad, now that I know that, yeah. got back over there. I mean, that's honestly not necessarily much better or worse. Like, the dad could easily be like, oh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. 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 So yeah. it might have still been for the best that you waited for your moment. Yeah. It, it just all worked out. It was yeah. all divine timing. It was hilarious. It was great. Now, before we let you guys go, I was wondering, would you guys like to a answer a mystery question? Oh. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna bring honored. in the the mystery machine of mystery questions. Ooh. With mystery questions, <laughs> and we have a little gimmick here. It's gonna get the quarter tea that you need. It's the oh. big. Oh, no! Oh, that's that's a mystery <laughs> that's never happened before. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's just metal and plastic. <laughs> it's all right. Leave it to us money. being yeah, the sure. first ones to do this. Right. It's fine. It's a unique it's adventure. Great. <laughs> it's great. It's built for it tough, like my suit. Absolutely. There we go. That is exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's action. I'm like, bring his chair back up. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, he <laughs> jumped it out of his chair. It's on the ground. He was like, I left in the action. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's so funny. I mean, right. it's funny now. It could have been tragic, but it it's funny. It could have been. Yeah. All right, let's go and get this quarter truck. There's a quarter in the back there. Right. Since we have two of you, we got to bring out the backup quarter truck. What a wonderful adventure this has been. All right, quarter All right. in the truck. We got the quarter out of the truck. We got a back <laughs> That's for me? Yeah. yeah, you get to answer yeah. one as well. Ooh. Excellent. It still go. works. We're so, we're so happy to see that. Oh, I'm so excited. There you go. Oh, wow. I'm having trouble getting that open. Don't worry. It okay. happens Thank to you almost everybody. Okay. All right. You may need your super train. Oh. Okay. There you go. If you were in a pageant, what would be your special skill? Freestyling. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate how immediate that answer was. Yeah, you don't even have, have to think. think about that at all. Well. I want to flip yeah. it. Uh, the name of our comic company is Freestyle Comic That wasn't an accident. Yeah. That was fully intentional. Absolutely. All right, what is your mystery question? All right. What's your favorite shirt? Yeah. My favorite shirt right now is this yellow neonish like shirt that has not in the mood because I'm always so bubbly and happy. Mm. So when they read my shirt and they're like not in the mood, people get really confused, weird looks at me. No, so you're not wearing it when you truly are not in the mood. You're wearing it when you are in the oh, mood. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's wow. a social test. It's a test. It's a test. <laughs> wow. It's very fun because I'm just like, hi, how are you? And they're like, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, they don't know what to say. Like, like you're right. are you okay? this is a landmine. What am I dealing with? <laughs> very entertaining. Well, thank you for chatting with us yes yeah. uh, good luck i hope you have fun the rest of spx could i promote something real please quick? Oh, that's what we're here for the whole thing <laughs> well we do have a brand new comic book coming out from freestyle comics and it's an association of five other studios it's called hospice it is a rising sun hospice project it's a shared universe and it is our first horror comic book and we are dropping that launching it on kickstarter september 19th um, it is coinciding with five other Kickstarters that are all launching this September. 
all you have to do is go to Kickstarter, type in hospice, and all six of the books will come up. Two of those campaigns are going on right now. Travis Gibb and Russell Nolte's campaigns are. Pledge to those to get those two books because they're awesome. And then click the follow me on the other four books and you'll get notified. I think you're going to like them. This is our first horror book. I want you to get it because I hate horror because I get scared so easily. I was going to say, I hate horror. What yeah. are you doing here? People keep asking us to He's do so a horror book. so dedicated to oh, the man. craft. So we yeah. got to do it. That's how dedicated you are to the people. Yes. But Absolutely. you're going to make a horror book. Absolutely. This is why he's called Most Epic, the most enthusiastic person <laughs> in comics. Because he is so enthusiastic oh, about it's something incredible that scares here. him. I know, I right? didn't, There's not too many people that can match <laughs> our level. And I feel like we're being towered over like Shaq over here. Oh, no. Oh. You guys are amazing. You guys are incredible. I love this, this dialogue that we're having yeah. back and forth. Presentation, your hosting, oh, thank you. this thing. That's, you guys are yeah. on point. The mystery machine is incredible. Yes. Oh, thank you I very much. That. Yeah, yeah, we wanted a way to kind of add a little randomness and weirdness to the proceedings, and it's very eye-catching. Kids, kids in particular really like it. Uh -huh. Even though what's inside isn't that interesting to them, like they just want to come over and look at it. Would love this <laughs> yeah. because it's like you just get to go up and put a quarter, and you don't know what you're getting. No, that that's was the no, coolest yeah. thing. Remember half the things we put in here, so yeah, it's, like, oh, it's a awesome. surprise it's for us too. It keeps on giving. That's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Well, again, thank you so much. Thank you for having.